Hey guys, it's Spooky Noodles, and I'm here to talk about a book. And that book is by George LaFontaine, I believe you say, that's how you say his name. And it's called Flashpoint. Now this book I actually did read, and it took me forever to complete. And I'll tell you why. This book has some dry spells in it. But it's a very fun read. Now what I mean by dry spells is that you read about a lot that has nothing to do with the initial plot like like there's uh some scenes like when they uh they find a bus truck uh, a truck full of uh, illegal aliens and they arrest them basically there's one where they track some kid in the desert there's one where they're they uh, um, basically track down an airliner full of drugs so there's a lot of things that have nothing to do with the initial plot of finding the oh should tell you what this book's about first but before I do um, I was gonna finish my sentence. Uh, and the initial plot is about the skeleton on the cover. So what is Flashpoint about? Flashpoint is about this two guys, Logan and Wheeler, or Logan and Ernie, and they find the skeleton. And in the skeleton's Jeep is a rifle, fishing rod, a box full of fishing rods like uh not rods uh like bait hooks and stuff and then they find a box full of money and the money is like eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars or something like that and in the 70s it was a lot of money now <clears throat> let me read the back for you guys began as a stroke of incredible luck after for uh, Robert Logan and e Ernie Wheeler, Border Patrol cops, partners and pals who enjoyed the easy camaraderie, com or shared whiskey and women. They suddenly discovered $850,000 in cash buried in the sand in an abandoned jeep next to a skeleton. It should have been their ticket to a first class life. If they could get away with it, if they could find a place to run, and if they didn't end up like the thing in the jeep, what was in store for them was something much more terrifying. Against the dusty mesas and canyons, canyons of the Texas border co co country unfolds this chilling drama of intrigue, murder, and brutal suspense. I really jacked up that. <laughs> Come, ca camera, ca Camaraderie. I cannot say that word. Anyways, guys. So, you know, they briefly talk about, like, the JFK assassination. And I'm just gonna let you know, you guys should pay attention to that, because it will come back later in the story. Because I was completely blindsided by the ending of this book. I did not see this ending coming. But it was, you know laid out for me through the book <sighs> Sorry. first thing in the morning but it had clues and hints that I just overlooked completely and when I got to the end I was like oh okay so this book was really really interesting I liked it I liked it a lot I'm not afraid to say that. I liked it a lot. And uh, I give it three stars. It held my interest. And, you know, I was able to read the whole thing. It only became a chore at times because, you know, I wanted to know what happened. Like, they find the skeleton and then nothing really happens for a long time. So, I wanted to know what was going to happen with the whole thing. And when things start kicking off, like... You're three-fourths into the book, and things start kicking, you know. Excuse me. Um, like, 
people start dying characters are introduced for like like random characters are introduced near the end of the story just so they can kill people off yeah. sorry so um um yeah there's some characters that just don't have much point to them and yeah I'm not gonna spoil this book if you want to read this book it's called Flashpoint by George LaFontaine and something I was really weird about is that Goodreads has this listed at like 204 pages but really it's 240 pages oh my alarm's going off it's actually 240 pages long if you see right here uh, if I can get it up 240 right there So yeah, that is Flashpoint. Did I really do a bad job describing this? I think I did, but um, basically Ernie Wheeler is hilarious and I love him to death. He is a funny character. If you can get uh, over the subtle uh, racism in the book, because they refer to Mexicans as wetbacks throughout the whole book, and there's a period where you think, oh, he's gonna turn his ways around, you know, and he does feel for the Mexicans near the end of the book, but they still call him wetbacks and greaseballs, so that kind of is aggravating, but the book was written in the 70s, so I don't give anything a pass for racism. But I understand, you know? I still enjoyed the book, but yeah. So that is Flashpoint by George LaFontaine. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. I know I didn't really talk much about the book. I wanted to spoil the crap out of it because the ending had me in awe, you know? Because I did not see the ending coming. <sighs> so, the ending came out of nowhere. I, uh, It was brutal. Like, the last 40, 50 pages I could not put down. I literally took this to my workstation and read it while I was running my machine. You know, that, that that's how interesting this book was. Like, I think around... 200 page mark maybe even earlier than that uh when was the last chapter chapter 11 chapter 11 is when things really kick off all right after that it's like a roller coaster but you got this like you know in the beginning it gets going in the beginning like but then there's like this long period of time where nothing's happening you know I mean, stuff happens, but it's not that interesting, so. But that was Flashpoint. I hope you guys enjoyed this little review on a book you guys probably never heard of. It's a thriller. And it says it's a chiller on the back. Or, as I say, on the front. Yeah, the, the news, the Savage New Chiller by the best-selling author of Two Minute Warning. Now, this has, like, some graphic moments in it that I would cons maybe consider horror. There's like elements of horror in it, but there's it's not a horror book at all. It's a thriller, and that cover just sold me, and the, the back sold me too. I read the back, saw the cover, cover I saw first obviously, and I knew I had to have it. It was like 10 bucks at the Detroit uh, book fair. And I've been enjoying it this month. Um, but tell me what you thought about the book, if you read it. And yeah, this has been a Flashpoint review by Spooky Noodles. And I hope you enjoyed. Alright, bye guys.